I just want to show you how the MDA system started. Um, basically, I looked at a stock like Disney and I said, is there any way that we can predict these different conditions? We have positive momentum. We have a negative reversal. We see a big positive reversal and then we're back into negative momentum. And I thought, what if I can break these into segments? And I, I thought, well, what if I went about it in sort of an inductive statistical method and I found that uh, something called multiple discriminant analysis, and that's where the name comes from for MDA breakout, breaks it into seven different segments. And we look at, primarily, we look at the breakout in segment six and the breakdown in segment two. And so, you know, one of the most well-known is NVIDIA. You can see that it's still in breakout. It just reported earnings and it's still holding in, in a positive segment six MDA condition. What that means is up here, we have green segment six, the bottom bar, we have the red segment two, and then everything else is put in the middle. Those are the three, four, five, the reversals that statistically, I just put them all together because we only care about the two extremes, the extreme positive and the extreme negative. And you can see very clearly that we were getting a positive signal here. It's been holding a breakout ever since.